The retreating glaciers prepared southeastern Wisconsin to be the habitation of a series of great civilizations. Ho-Chunk and Potawatomi oral traditions each tell of the great flood that covered the land and the consequent migration of the first humans at least 10,000 years ago. Stone and copper arrowheads found in the fields of Lebanon by earlier generations corroborate these legends suggesting that Paleo-Indians hunted this area as soon as the waters of the great glacial lake evaporated. As the Rock River separates two distinct ecosystems, it also provided a natural boundary for the earliest Indian nations who thrived on opposite sides of the river. The Potawatomi held sway on the east side of the rock from Fond du Lac southward. The Ho-Chunk people roamed the western side of the rock. There is evidence of a semi-permanent Ho-Chunk encampment complete with an effigy mound along Baker Creek in the northern half of the township. A southern exposure sheltering mixed hardwood forest, a spring, and arable land to raise foodstuffs made the spot ideal for a year-round encampment. The large S-shaped bend in the Rock River at the central eastern side of Lebanon afforded the perfect location for both the Potawatomi and Ho-Chunk nations to encamp and ultimately establish semi-permanent villages on opposite sides of the river. The land quickly rises above the river at this point, providing protection from the vagaries of flooding. As early as 10,000 years ago, these nations developed agricultural implements, and they began to cultivate crops of beans, squash, sunflowers, and corn. They developed the science of seed selection, producing crops with the most desirable characteristics. The two nations were hospitable and welcoming to the first Euro-Americans. Observing that these interlopers lacked familiarity with their new environment, Further sensing that these folks who were arriving at the edge of winter did not have a clue about a Wisconsin winter, the indigenous peoples aided the settlers, giving them advice on building initial shelter housing and showing them how to grow crops that they were already raising in the area. For a generation or two, our forebears were treated to periodic visits from the original inhabitants. One of the patriarchs of Lebanon recalled in his memoirs that as late as 1878, small groups of Indians would camp along the Rock River, remain a few weeks, and move on.